everyone, my name is Marisa and I'm going to do a tutorial today for the Potomac Bead Company and for today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this. Now this is just a sample of what we're going to be doing but it is going to be a bracelet made out of these units. Now I'm calling them units but they are not separate components that you have to where you have to make one, tie off your thread and then make several and then connect them. This is just one continuous bracelet. It's actually going to be three passes and what I mean by that is you're going to do your base and then come back and do your second line of beads and then your last uh, beads. So this is what we're going to do and I'm calling it my silky, silky diamonds bracelet. For this project, let's talk about what we're going to need. We're going to need we're going to need disc duos and these are exclusive Potomac Bead Company beads so you can only get them from them and the color I'm going to use is the crystal slipperit matte and for your disc duos you're only going to need for the top part of your unit and this is going to go at the very end you're also going to need some mini mini diamond mini silky beads sorry and this is the color I'm going to use. I don't know the name of it. I think it's I think it's a jade terracotta. And you're going to need two per unit. You're also going to need some diamond duos. You're also, you're going to need two per unit and I'm using the color pastel burgundy. You will need some some super duos. And I'm going to use the this is orange luster on it but it's just a beige you know an ivory or an off-white color for seed beads you will need O beads you will need some 11 O's and some 15 O's the 15 O's I'm using are the Miyuki galvanized gold the 11 O's I'm using are a light metallic bronze and the O beads I'm using it looks like it's a metallic mix you will also need for the connecting part of your bracelet some rondelles and I'm just going to use uh, I'm using the Potomac Bead Company rondelles and now these are rondelles made especially for Potomac beads and I'm using the Crystal AB. Now I'll talk a little bit more when we get to this part on this little area here the connecting part of our of our bracelet. To fasten everything I'm going to use a cut button and I'm going to use the zinc iris color. Now for my bracelet I'm going to make mine six units long. Six of these with five of these separating them and I know that that will fit me so it's a little bit less than seven inches. I did make one that was seven units long and when I measured it with the cut button that was eight inches long. So I know that for an eight inch bracelet you would need, if you do a cut button, you would need seven units and for a smaller you will need six. To string everything I'm going to use, I'm going to use some wildfire beading thread in green, 0 .006 and you will need two beading needles, a size 10 will work. And I do recommend uh, threading your needles with, with six feet of thread. The tools you're going to need um, will just be scissors or a thread burner, something to cut your thread with, and flat nose pliers just to flatten your thread ends to make threading your needles easier. Okay, so go ahead and get what you're going to need and we'll get started. I'll show you what to do first. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put on our cut button. And I've already made piles of all of the things that I'm going to need. And for this first pass of our bracelet, you're going to need your cut button. You're going to need silky beads, O beads, diamond duos, super duos, 11 O's, and your rondelles. So the first thing we're going to do is pick up three 11 O's on one needle. Then take both of your needles and go through your cut button. 
one needle in through one hole, your other needle in through the other. Hold your cut button, hold your needles, and pull. That way your cut button is in the center of your, of your thread. Then now, on each needle, pick up an 11 0 and then we're going to pick up our first diamond duo and we're going to cross through it. And make sure you have checked the holes in your silky beads and your diamond duos and your super duos before we get started. So we're going to pick up our first diamond duo. Make sure it's facing up with the facet side up and that your holes are clear. And you're going to go in through the hole closest to you. And you're going to cross both needles through it. One like this the other like this and then pull and hold on to your diamond duel because you're still fairly starting on your project and you want to make sure that everything stays centered so both of your needles both of your strings are coming out through this hole hop on up to the other hole with both needles and go through the other hole cross through it with both needles of your diamond duo because we need to end up in that other hole and then we're going to start with our succession of beads that are going to be on both of your needles O bead, super duo, O bead, silky bead and make sure that the bumpy side is up and you're going to go in through that hole like that O bead, super duo, and O bead. So this is what you should have on your thread, just like that. O bead, super, O bead, silky, O, super, and O. And do that on both needles. Everything we do on one needle, we're going to do with our other needle. And then it's O bead. Super Duo O bead. So once we have all of these beads on both of our threads, we're going to pick up our next Diamond Duo and we're going to cross through this hole, the hole closest to us. So take both of your needles, go in there and cross through it. And then pull your thread and that's what you should have. And on this first step, your super duos are going to be going in. Your OBs are going to be sticking out really weird. That's okay. That's normal. Do not try to tighten it. Just, just pull everything to where it's snug. Don't go crazy trying to fix it, trying to tighten it. Because in this step, it's not going to work. By the time we do our second step and our third, everything's going to come together very nicely. So don't worry if everything's looking really weird on this step. So take both of your needles and cross, hop on up to the other hole of your diamond duo and cross through it. Now we're going to do this part, the connecting part, right here. And that all that is going to be is an 11 0 on each needle, a rondelle, and then an 11 0. And for this part, you don't have to use rondelles. You can probably use any 4 millimeter O bead, round bead, I mean. You can probably even use a 6 o Matubo. Just whatever you have that's around roughly 4 millimeters around. Okay, so I have my 11 o rondelle 11 o on both threads. Now we're going to pick up our next diamond duo, and we're going to cross through this hole closest to me with one needle going in one direction and the other needle going in the opposite direction and pull. And then we're going to pick up the O bead super duo silky O bead sequence again. Oh wait, from here, I'm sorry, we're going to hop on up to this hole and cross both needles through it. And then once we do that, then we're going to pick up our sequence of O bead, super duo, and look at that. I know it's really ugly, but trust me, it's going to come together very pretty. Okay, so it's O bead, 
Super Duo Bow Bead. Silky. Whoops. Bow Bead. Super Duo. And O Bead. And now I'm going to do my right needle. And then a silky here. O bead. Hope I'm in frame. Super. O bead. Got them all on both threads. Great. I'm going to pick up my next diamond duo. And I'm going to cross through this hole now, the one closest to me, with both of my needles. And then once we do that, we're going to hop on up to the other hole of our diamond duo. And we're going to cross through it. And then we're going to do this part again. And that'll get us ready to do our next unit. So go ahead and do this, the length that you need. This bracelet will not shrink on you. So go ahead and do as many units as you need, and I'll meet you back. Okay. So I went ahead and I did all of my little units and I have six in all. And now I'm coming out, you should be coming out as well out of a diamond duo like that with both of your strings exiting the hole furthest to you in separate directions like this. So now we're going to do our loop. So pick up two 11 O's on each needle, let those drop and then cross through one more. And this is so we can do our loop. And I'm going to pick up on one needle enough 11 O's that will accommodate a cut button. And I'm not counting, I'm just picking up a bunch of them. And I'll just look at it. And then I'll test out my cut button to see if it fits. And since I don't have it since I don't have a crystal, it should it looks kind of small. It should um I won't need to accommodate more than usual to accommodate that crystal. Okay. That looks good. I'm coming out of this middle 11 0 where I crossed. I'm going to go and do that same 11 0 again in the opposite direction. I'm going to hold my work and I'm going to pull on both threads. And I'm just going to test out my, my cut button. And since I just totally moved everything, let's see. I think I need one more. Okay, so all I'm going to do is add one more seed bead here. I'm going to take this out, and I'm just going to add one more seed bead. And then with my other needle, I'm going to reinforce this loop. That way I have two threads going through it. I'm also going to untangle this. Okay. All right. All of that just to add one more bead. How about that? Okay. I'm just going to add one more. I'm going to go in through that same 11 note again. Where I'm coming out, coming out here. I'm going to go through it. And then all I'm going to do with this needle you could probably even, instead of doing two and then the one, just do one on each side and then cross through another one. You, you probably don't have to do the two. It's not bothering me, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, so take your other needle that's coming out and go in through all of them, come out through this one, and then come out through these two on this, this side. And then with this needle, come out through these two on this side. And then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so we are done with our 11 O's. We're also done with our Silky Super Duos rondelles. We're just going to be working with our 15 O's now. So you did your loop. You're coming out of these two here on each side. 
and then just cross through this diamond duo again. Take both needles in through there and cross through it. Now we're going to be doing the outer edging and we're going to be working with our 15 o's and this is really easy. This is going to be just the number for this is going to be four, four all the way through. Four on your left, four on your right, and then go through your super duo. And that will put these 15 o's there. And then on this side as well. Now we're going to pick up another four and go through our through our silky bead. Go through here. This is what we have. And then another four and go through the next super duo. One, two, three, four. Go through the next super duo. If I can just find it. Here we go. And then four more and go through the top hole or the hole furthest from you of your diamond duo and go through it. You're going to come out and go oops, up your 11 0, your rondelle, your other 11 0, and through this diamond duo and come out. And do the same thing on this side. Four is your number. Through your silky. And that's what you should have. So go ahead and finish up doing four all the way through. All the way down your bracelet. Okay. I already did all of my groupings of <coughs> four. 15 O's, where I did four, four, went through the silky, do four, went through the duo, do four. And at the very end, all I did was I did my four here, went through the diamond duo, went up these three, up the cut button, down. And so I reinforced the cut button with both of my threads, and then I came out, and then I just crossed through my hole here, on my diamond duo. So I'm coming out of my diamond duo here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hop on over to the other hole of our diamond duo again and we're only going to go through our diamond duo. Like that. I'm sorry, we're going to go through our diamond duo and our O bead. So we went through that hole, came out, and go through the O-bead. This string is still coming out of this hole of your diamond duo. Hop on up to this hole of your diamond duo. Go through the diamond duo and, whoops, through the O-bead. So both of your needles should be coming out of the O bead. Okay, now we're going to put, now this is our last step, we're going to put our disc duo on the top of our little unit. So to do that, we're coming out of our O beads. We're not going to do any more crossing, well, not while we're doing this part. Not, well, not while we're doing our, uh, putting our disc duo on the top. Okay, so put a 15 0 on each needle, let it drop. Pick up a disc duo and go through it like this with both of your needles like that. Let it drop. And then pick up a 15 0 on each needle again. And you're going to go, you're going to skip all of these here. You're going to go through the O bead that's next to the diamond duo, go through the diamond duo, 
and out. And then with this other needle, the same thing. Go through the O-bead on this side, through the diamond duo, and out of the diamond duo. And then pull. And that's going to set your disc duo on the top of your little unit, just like that. And then, once you do that, you're going to get out of your little unit by hopping up to the other hole of your diamond duo and go through the diamond duo. Do not catch the 15 note on the other side of your diamond duo. And this one as well, I'm going to go through the other hole of my diamond duo, hopping up there, and then out. And then we're going to go up our 11 o Rondell 11 o through the, through the hole, through the diamond duo here next to the 11 o And only the diamond duo, do not catch the 15 o next to it. Over here, I'm going to catch up to it. I'm going to go through the 11 o the Rondell. 11 0 through this hole of my diamond duo and out of my diamond duo only. And then I'm going to and then I need to get in position in here again to put another disc duo there. So I'm coming out of this hole of my diamond duo. I'm going to hop on up to the other hole of my diamond duo and come out through the diamond duo and the O bead. And I'm going to do that with this one now too. I'm coming out of this hole of my diamond duo. I'm going to hop up to my other hole of my diamond duo, go through my diamond duo, and, and my O bead. And there's this one's being a little stubborn. This step is not hard, but I'm just trying to do it on camera and I'm just going to have to go through it one at a time, which if you can't always, if you, you're not going to always be able to catch your OB, that's fine. Just go through it one at a time. No problem. So now we're coming out of our O beads on each needle. Again, 115 0, 115 0. Let it drop. Put on your next disc duo like that. Went in the same direction, no crossing. Let it drop, put on a 15 0 again, and you're going to go through the O bead that's right outside, right next to your diamond duo. So go through the O bead and through the diamond duo, come out of the diamond duo. And then with my needle on my right side, the same thing. I'm going to go through this O bead through the diamond duo and out my diamond duo. And I'm going to pull hard so that I can get this just right. Okay, pull hard. Once you pull hard, that's really going to set your disc duo where it's supposed to go, how it's supposed to go. So this is what we have. So go ahead and finish doing this step all the way to the very end and again all you're working with is your 15 o's and your disc dos go ahead and go ahead and add the rest of your disc dos at, to the rest of your units and i'll meet you back if you don't want to add them if you like your bracelet just like this without them like that it's just it's pretty too so if you want you can stop here but if you want if you want to add your disc dos go ahead and do that and i'll meet you back Okay, so I've already finished putting on all of the disc dos that go on the top of my unit. And this is what I have, and this is what you should have as well. And now I'm coming out through the further hole on both sides, like this. Each of my threads is coming out on one side. And um, I'm just going to leave one here. And then I'm going to take the other one and I'm going to go up these 11 O's here next to it. Then go through this 11 O where we did our crossing. And then down the 11 O's 
on this side and I'm going to meet my threads. So my threads are meeting here. Now what I'm going to do is just turn my, take off my needles and then I'm just going to tie a knot. Make sure I have this right. Okay. I'm going to tie a knot. And once you have your knot, your bracelet will be complete. So, one more time. And if you want, you can even put some glue on your knot. One more time. Okay. And that's to the back. Now I'm just going to take my thread burner. I found my thread burner. So I'm just going to burn those ends. Okay. And that completes our project. This is our bracelet. Pretty easy, pretty simple, and it's pretty fast. So it does take three passes, but they're pretty simple steps. Each of the steps that you have to do to, to um, <clears throat> do your project is pretty simple. And this is, let me try it on, but let me remove the one I have because I don't want it to take away from the one I just made. It's probably hard to see on camera the Crystal AB rondelles that I use, but they're really, really nice. And I didn't want to do anything uh, too bold on that section because I wanted, I wanted to highlight my bracelet. So this is how it looks on. And I really, really like this. And I just cannot say enough about those disc duos. I really like these matted disc duos. So I will definitely be stocking up. Okay, so this completes our silky diamond bracelet. I hope you enjoyed making this. I hope you enjoyed watching the tutorial. And uh, thank you very much for watching.